Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today Rockstar has finally announced GTA 6 officially. Yes, it happened. I didn't know I was going to read these news today or in the next year, but it seems that this is going to be the case. So, earlier today Rockstar posted a news wire and kinda at the end said, look, we're working on the next GTA game and people said like, what is going on? Like, how didn't you just announce this properly? So, they tweeted out saying this. Many of you have been asking about a new entry in the GTA series. With every new project, our goal is always to significantly move beyond what we previously delivered. We're pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the series is underway. We look forward to sharing more as soon as we are ready, so please stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for official details. On behalf, on behalf of our entire team, we thank you for all of your support and cannot wait to step into the future with you. So, yeah, basically this confirms something that um, we all probably knew at this point, is that yes, GTA 6 is in active development um, so far. Now, again, when is this coming out? It's impossible to know, it could be in the next 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 years, as far as Rockstar is concerned, because keep in mind, they are not in hurry to release anything else, GTA 5 or, well, GTA Online, has been making a lot of money for them through shark cards and obviously everything else. So, of course, they're going to milk that as much as possible until GTA 6 is released. Now, keep one thing in mind. I'm a huge fan of Rockstar Games. I'm a huge fan of GTA series ever since GTA 1, the top-down one. Now, of course, I have my worries and reservations when it comes to this. I'm hyped, of course, but I want to control my hype because as much as I like Rockstar and their games and I love playing them because they create amazing titles, like unforgettable titles, I also have to stay logical and see like where is the company heading towards because these past couple of years when it comes to how uh, Take-Two and Rockstar have been handling the community, especially the modding community, how Red Dead Online is basically forgotten, how Shark Cards are basically plaguing GTA Online. Now, obviously, the last expansion, or well, the last update in GTA Online, which was with Franklin and uh, Dr. Dre, it was cool. So it tells me, like, of course, Rockstar is capable of doing good things when they want to. Now, also, I don't want to forget the GT Trilogy remaster, which was obviously done by Grove Street Games, so not Rockstar, but obviously Rockstar is the one which approved a release of that title. So, in one sense, I said then, and I'm, I'm going to say again, I'm worried about their basic, like, uh, quality assurance, so I hope that uh, GTA 6 is not going to suffer from that. I'm just being logical and I'm just being realistic here. Next thing I also hope for is that finally when it comes to their obviously next iteration of GT Online because that's coming like you don't even have to guess that. I do hope they have dedicated proper servers because peer-to-peer -peer system which they have right now and they had it since ages which basically GT Online has also Red Dead Online is terrible. Peer-to-peer -peer system uh, leaves you open to hacks for hackers to get your IP to get your Rockstar ID. It's terrible it makes the game crash and it's not working properly and it allows modders to completely overtake servers. Or by modders I mean people who hack in GTA Online and just pawning money on you. And that's something that needs to absolutely change. Now I'm still not sure why a, a, a company as big as Rockstar doesn't have proper servers, but hopefully that changes for GTA 6 because I don't like it and no one in the community likes that. Now also let's talk about the release platforms because that's something people have been asking. Is it going to come out for consoles first? If you look at GT4, it came out for consoles first, right? When you look at GT5, it came out for consoles first, right? Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, same story. Keep in mind, console makers or whoever is going to pay huge amounts of money to keep their games on consoles first. So I'm pretty sure that GT6 is a game which is coming out first for the next gen or current gen um, consoles, that being GT5 and Xbox Series X. And to be honest, that's one of the reasons, well, it's one of the major reasons why I got this, because I knew that eventually when GT6 comes out, that um, it's going to be released on consoles first. That's a sad reality, but that's something that um, Rockstar has been practicing for years now, and I honestly don't see that changing. Maybe, maybe they surprise us with like full release on PC and consoles, but I think that's not going to happen. So look, of course, I'm being very, very, very excited about this game. I know that. But at the same time, I also have to 
realize what Rockstar of today has become. Where Dan Hauser also left. So you have people that are beneficial for the GT series, who created and made GT series into what it is, leave the company. For me, that's, you know, worrying signs, but at the same time, this means nothing until we see the product or the game in action. So, until that happens, we'll see what is going to be happening. But when they share something new about GTA 6, because I know I'll, I will be covering it, I will also make a video on it. So, thank you so much for watching. This is LKM signing out. Stay classy, everyone. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Discord. And huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. Again, stay classy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.